Hey guys, Ripley Gamer here with another Sims 4 build for you guys. Today I'm making a starter home in Oasis Springs on Raffia Quinta. I ended up calling this house Peckham Drive for uh, kind of funny reasons. But okay, so I started off with uh, using uh, this fence because so I kind of wanted to make it kind of trailer trashy. But then I, I kind of went against the grain and changed it up. So I didn't, I kept, I, but I kept the... Um, fence there is kind of an idea of where I wanted the house to go which actually helped when trying to build it so because this is a very basic kind of like modern star time I went with so you got like the laundry day door for that leads to a back garden and I was like I had I went with the cheapest everything essentially so using those subtle source lights just to give like everything some light which is pretty good and go using the used counters because they're actually pretty decent I think I might have gone and changed up and used the regular ones I can't remember uh, made a small like downstairs bathroom and also an upstairs bathroom so that you've got like either one but this is meant, meant to be like a basic start home for your sims to move into if they're in Oasis Springs or whichever uh, smaller lot you can put them in in any of the other worlds Cause, so I made this like a very old like kind of house like it's like it's been it's been it's very old uh, they don't really get like remodeled but you could like kind of maybe make this a fixer upper if you wanted to give them kind of basic little windows because uh, I actually made this before the Strangerville uh, pack was released, so this is kind of a, this was kind of like a sort of pre like sort of Strangerville idea of how I wanted to do like kind of a starter home, and maybe I could do a video where I just like renovate this with Strangerville stuff me be. So we got like a small uh, like kitchen area and a small downstairs toilet. Uh, if you like, in some houses, especially in the UK, you do have kind of like two ba two bathrooms in the in like the houses i know we have like one where i'm like my house back home uh we have an upstairs bathroom but we've got like one of those really small like kind of downstairs toilets that's right by the front door for some reason and it's like they're always kind of near the front door my sister's house is kind of the same same kind of thing these like sort of small water closets that you put down just in, like in the downstairs for people so they don't have to walk all the way upstairs so i kind of make it a bit bit kind of basic very like kind of old rundown people lived here but they never kind of bothered to clean up before they moved out used uh this nice wooden basin i think i yeah i just used the the wooden plank flooring for the whole thing and made gave an upstairs so we got like because this is a this could have been like a smaller like starter bungalow but i changed it to make it a house so it was a bit more because there was a lot more i could work with so you have that and then we end up like kind of I make like this sort of open plan kitchen living area downstairs and then sort of go into uh, putting the details on the bathrooms because I make um I put that there I made that smaller so it's a little more because there was too much space for it and the way I did that is because I was allowed it allowed me to put a half wall behind the fridge and the uh, counter there which worked pretty well because then it sort of has like a little lead in to, and it has the counters to go back up against something, which is not something I tend to do. Then I used a, made like a small kind of living area in the bottom, I think. I'm not sure which um, sofa I ended up using. It might have been, the, was it the trash or treasure I used? I had that on it. I think I might use it on because I love that sofa. Because it's, it's such like a, because from the flea market, it's such like a good example of like those old kind of couches that you'd see in the 90s. Like that you'd see like, you'd see like baby pictures of yourself in like maybe your first or second like house or the house you're in you see like these hideous old sofas because I know we had like hideous old sofas and like some of my baby photos back in uh, what like some of the older houses we had I think we've moved several times at the time but we don't have like hideous old house hideous old houses hideous old sofas anymore then a smaller three by three bathroom upstairs and this is kind of like a large open plan like bedroom so you could maybe like expand it for like a second but like if they if like you put a couple in here and they have a kid you could sort of like maybe like wall off one of the areas and then have like a small like kids room kids room maybe make like a smaller bath like bedroom and turn that like, like where the stairs into a hallway but again i was kind of using those like grouting tile because it looks kind of it looks good because like the different color shade differentiations kind of make it look a bit uh older and a bit like used and run down and just switching everything up so you got like you know bed shower bath and i switched up the sinks as well downstairs so it it's made sense the nice cheap mirror that's actually a pretty decent mirror i always use the spa day ones but i think using those little round ones little square ones is actually a bit better so especially for start houses i found them i made like i used um 
these sort of just boxes here kind of like they've just moved in they don't really have a lot so they're kind of just using these like old boxes to make up for for their uh, lack of like bedside tables you could actually this could actually work as maybe uh, maybe a rags to riches if you wanted to or some sort of fixer upper house because you could probably turn this into like a really nice little like two-story like house for like 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 a family like one kid maybe because I added I had like loads of space to work with and I figure use like utilize the fact that there's loads of space that you can fill up as time goes on so again using the same wooden wooden flooring from the downstairs and change uh, I think I yeah just I uh, changed the shading to like a kind of yellow to kind of make it a little more fitting for Oasis Springs but also makes it kind of a little more older and used up and put the mirror in the corner so you got like a load of space to work with and then just a nice half gabled half like hips roof not gabled and that looks it makes it look a little bit modern use the slate in there the metal like slate in there and then use um like sort of this siding here to give it a kind of like old kind of like I was kind of going for those sort of like houses you'd see in like the deserts in like the thing is, I've never been to a desert and seen like sort of houses that would fit a desert landscape. That's that's more due to suit to America because there is no such thing as deserts in the UK. And so I, it, was, it was a bit of a trouble trying to make like some of these houses look like they fit in like states like Arizona or Nevada, for example. But then I switched up the sofa to a smaller sofa, so there's a little more space. But it actually looks quite good. And then I ended up removing the fencing because I needed. I, it helped me like design like the space around it, and then I just kind of uh, started to change up the flooring. So I made it look because um, this is like quite lush greenery around this area. So we changed up the the grass when it was done to make it look like the people who live there they just didn't look after the grass. Like everyone else has like those nice green grasses that just look really good and like it looks like it's always been watered every day even though you never see them actually watering the watering the garden that kind of too hot to, too hot kind of uh, thing where the grass kind of dies and no one really tries to revive it and it works pretty well in its favor so we ended up kind of because of course like when I'm making builds my the disembodied voice that is my boyfriend who I live with does um like to give his input he's a bit more like when it comes to building he's a bit more good with the architecture whilst I'm a bit more suited to the interior design so I think what we might do maybe in the future video is I'll get him to make uh build like the outer shell of a house and then I just decorate it uh which could be an interesting little challenge so we made like this sort of you know you got like the the laundry day uh washboard and uh, clothes line back because I don't really use those much I feel like I need to use them because I always just like there's a washing machine and a tumble dress like what's the point of having like clothes line but I guess it works a little more for like somewhere like Oasis Springs where you could have those um like washing lines in the open because it's always like kind of dry and like warm weather so very little rain and then we're just like fixing up the kind of the, the ground the ground to make like a sort of pathway that sort of makes it work and looks like it's like kind of the grass kind of died around there and it's all a bit it's all a bit just like this house is kind of run down and no one really looks after it very well which kind of worked in his favor but also to make it look as if um you get some of the greenery coming in like around the edges so it's nice and green on like on the edges but you can see this it's kind of dying around like more so the inside but not so much on the outside to make that also a little kiddie pool in the background just for like just like the your adult family is just like god it's so hard I just need to sit down and then you just like sit in a kiddie pool kiddie pool like definition of kind of trailer trash if there's no kids around <laughs> or that scene from Parks and Rec where uh, Andy is has uh, got his casts his like legs and casts and he's sitting in a pool like a kiddie pool like that's just filled with soap to have a bath a bath with and then you got some dead plants like there were plants in the big like at the front of the house to look nice but no one just no one took care of them no one took care of them so we used those uh those vampire pack ones those dead rose bushes it actually works quite well and it kind of like it's creeping off creeping off forwards and is this like someone needs to come in and just take good care of this house and i made sure it's like it's filthy it's gonna get filthy easily along with i think just making it filthy filthy was the easiest thing to do but this is the peckham drive build house i hope you guys enjoy it. it's on the gallery uh if you want to download 
this on the gallery just look at my name Ripley Gamer which is my origin ID and you'll find all my builds there I have so many like community lots and stuff that I've just built so no CC Oasis Spring starter home be sure to check it out